This is a Dakota Lithium 7 amp hour battery that I got off of Amazon for about $75 and I thought, heck, Dakota makes really good batteries. I want to test this on my software, so we're going to do that right now. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. If you are a maker, a tinkerer, or a ham radio kit designer, and you haven't checked out PCB Way, you could be missing out. They obviously produce full featured printed circuit boards, including flexible circuit boards with tons of materials and options. Now they offer basically everything you need to turn your ideas into reality, which includes 3D printing, injection molding, CNC manufacturing, or just plain old PCB board manufacturing. They do it all for competitive prices. Check out the link in the description below to support this channel and thank you PCB way. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in ham radio. Guys, I did that test of the Myati battery, the little cheap $32 battery from that I got from Amazon. I did that test, and a lot of people were interested in it. I, I find stuff like that fascinating, but I wasn't sure how the video would do. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to throw this up there and see how it does. And I had a lot of really good feedback, a lot of watch time on that video. People seem interested, so we're going to do some more. These Dakota lithium batteries, from from what I can tell, it's kind of hard to determine exactly what's happening with these guys. Here's the uh, here's the Amazon page, okay? And if we go out here, and seventy about seventy five dollars the time of this recording, I ordered this just a couple of days ago. Eleven year, this is really cool right here. Eleven year USA warranty. Dakota lithiums batteries were born in the rugged landscape of North Dakota and are backed by our best in class eleven year warranty. So I did a little bit of research. I did a little bit of research about these uh, Dakota Lithium batteries. This is their website. It's dakotalithium.com. You can get read up all that stuff. Down at the bottom of that page, it has a we're in business to help people on our planet. This is our about page. If you go down here at the bottom, you can click on our story. It opens up this new tab, and we are Dakota Lithium. Up here in the Great Plains landscape can be unforgiving. High winds, deep snow, long nights. Dakota Lithium was born for this rugged landscape, a battery designed to endure, to help you do what you love longer, a battery made to last. We've harnessed the power of lithium chemistry and combined it with North Dakota grit to build you a better battery, to help you play harder, go further, long, last longer, no matter what the weather. So I kind of I kind of was impressed by that. I was I was like, well, I'm not sure if they're saying they're saying they were made for the North Dakota weather, and they have a USA warranty, and the company itself is in the USA, but I don't know I don't know if you can label these as made in the USA batteries. I think I'm going to reach out to them via their website and say, can you just give me some, just tell me where your stuff is made. Tell me where it's made. Because made in the USA is, is, is a label that people should be proud of these days. And if it's not made in the USA, that's okay. Because a lot of the times these, uh, these companies that, are, that design stuff, uh, these American companies inside the USA that design stuff, they might have it made elsewhere, have it imported and whatnot. And as long as it's to their specifications... Uh, then great. I was told by someone, I'm not sure if this is true or not, so if you have any information on this specific topic, uh, let me know below. But if you go look at the prices of the different size batteries on their website, they're almost to the price of the Battleborn. Someone said, oh yeah, those are just as good or you know, kind of in the same class as Battleborn batteries. Okay, okay. I'd like to, I'd like to believe that. Honestly, I'd like to believe that BioWinnows are in the same class as Battleborn batteries. And BioWinnows are some excellent batteries made... Made for amateur radio, but other things also. In fact, these two batteries right here are the reason I have these two together right now. Nope, that's wrong. This is a 7 amp power. This is a 9 amp power. If you feel these and you hold both of these th at the same time, you can tell a big difference in weight. This one's much heavier. Now, it's two more amp hours, okay? And as a general rule, bioinos are not very heavy. But this one came in just under 44 ounces. This one came in, this the Coda Lithium for 7 amp hours came in just under 32 ounces. So this is this is less than two pounds. It's like thirty one point seven or something like that ounces. Okay, less than two pounds, <laughs> seven amp hour. So I was impressed by the weight. I'm impressed by the build quality. It looks just. I mean, the design and, and form factor look the same as so many other batteries on the market today, including BioNO and several others. But I wanted to put it on the West Mountain Radio software. Now, one of the things that I, I'll mention for the last. The last video that I recorded, people were wanting links to this CBA five device and. The point of that video was to test the battery, not to sell the CBA 5 device. But 
Good point. Okay, so DX Engineering sells these. Um, I think Gigaparts has them, but I will put a link in the description below for this uh, this CBA5 battery testing device. Okay, this guy right here, I'll put a link bef uh, below so that if you guys want to do some battery testing on your own, you can certainly go check that out. One thing about doing these tests, you're going to want to make sure that your battery is topped off because you're not getting an accurate you're not going to get an accurate test and reading if you don't have a topped off battery. So I put this on the try I got this in the mail yesterday from Amazon and I put it on the charger last night. The charger was green this morning. I took it off the charger, came out here to the shack I'm recording it. So it's got a very very fresh charge on it. I just wanted to kind of make that clear because we want to make sure that we get the right information here. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. Voltage is 14. I'm going to say detect. Okay, it detects the voltage at 14.3. I have to set the capacity myself. I'm going to put 7. And the number of cells, I don't really know what the number of cells. I'm going to leave it at 4. We'll see. Uh, weight is 2 pounds. I'm just going to round it up. And age is 1 month. Okay, okay, okay. Manufacturer is, I'm going to put uh, Dakota. When you click on detect, it really only reads the voltage. I wish it would read more than that, but such is life. Okay, so no amplifier, 7 amp hours. Here we go. I've, I've set the test name and the file name already. So I'm going to click on start, and there it goes right there. Started out about 14.3 uh, 14 volts, which is what it says. Okay, good. Here we go. Okay, this is a 7 amp hour battery. So this test is probably going to take about 7 hours. And we'll come back and uh, let you know what it looks like at the end. After 7 hours, actually it's about 8 hours I when I came back, the test finished. And you can see the, uh, the results there on, on the uh, left-hand side of your screen. It came in at uh, measured amp hours was 6.939 amp hours at 99.1% efficiency. Great. Measured watt hours was 89.479. It's advertised as 84 watt hours, so it comes in a little bit higher in watt hours. And the test time was 416 minutes. So I really like the, the fact when these graphs like this, they just drop off. Instead of the battery gradually going down like that, which once it gets to a certain voltage, it's going to be unusable for most things inside of ham radio. Your your radio is not going to like anything less than 12.1 to 12.5 volts. Once it gets down below 12 volts, you're going to find suboptimal performance, and some radios might not work at all. Depends on the radio. Depends on how you can adjust things and whatnot. But this one stayed constant at like 12.5, just over 12 volts, um, until about... Looks like about six and a half hours, little bit, about six and three quarters hours into it, and then it started to dip just right there before seven hours. So great test, great um, results from this battery. Uh, again, this is a Dakota Lithium, which is a U.S. company. They are sold from the USA, from North Dakota, supported through that website, the company in North Dakota. And so far, I really like this test. I like the... Uh, I like the weight of this battery. I like the test results I've seen. So we're going to take it out in the field and do some actual, plug it up to radio and do some actual usage with it. So you'll see that in an upcoming video. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think about this battery, if you've ever seen one of these. And uh, we'll talk at you next time. They seem to be a really cool company that makes batteries in, <clears throat> you know what? No, no, I'm not going to do that.